Hi, it's Francesco. In today's video, we will check how to create sliding windows using Apache Flink. If you don't know what sliding windows are, they are a way to segment the time within timeframes within windows to calculate aggregations on top of those windows. The sliding windows are fixed width windows where you can define the window size and then you can define the lag between the current window and the next window, which is called the window slice or the window hop. So like in the case where that you see as of now, you can define, for example, the window size of 10 seconds and the window slide of 8 seconds. So the current window will start now and last 10 seconds. The next window will start 8 seconds after the start of the current session and then last 10 seconds. So as you can see here, there is an overlap between windows. And also if you have events happening within the overlap, you can have double count of events. Still, this kind of sliding windows are really, really useful for a huge variety of use cases. So let's understand how we can implement in Apache Flink. What we have here is an event for Apache Kafka that will store our data, and an event for Apache Flink that will allow us to create the sliding windows. If we check in the Kafka demo instance, the topics, we have a CPU load topic. If we browse the messages with our console and fetch them, we can see that the messages have a payload, a value payload, which contains the host name, the CPU, the usage, and the occur that in Linux timestamp. What we can do now is to go to Flink and click on the Applications tab, create a new application that we will call Sliding Windows, create the application, and then we create the first version. If this concept of application and Windows, uh, application and versions are new to you, check the URL below because it contains a link to a video that explains all the new capabilities of Ivan for Apache Flink. So in order to create an application, we need to define a source, a target, and a transformation. Let's start by mapping the Kafka topic into our source. We define that we are using Kafka demo as the source of our data. And then we define a source table that contains the field hostname, CPU, usage, and occur that that we saw in the Kafka topic. And then we are creating a time LTZ which is the way to transform the Linux timestamp that we have in Okuradat to a timestamp in Apache Flink. We can scroll a little bit down and click on Run to check that the SQL definition matches the data in the topic. Perfect, we have hostname, CPU, usage, and Okuradat, and also the new field, time, time LTZ. Now we can add the table. Then we need to define the sync of the data. And for the sake of this exercise, we will sync the data back to Kafka. So we can add our first sync table, always using Kafka demo as a target. And what we will have here is we will create a table CPU out ANC with columns window start that will show us the start of the sliding window, window end, the end of the sliding window, hostname, CPU, and usage average. We will calculate the average of the usage for every CPU and every hosting. Click on Add Table. And finally, we need to create the statement. OK, what we define as create statement, a statement is basically we define that to insert into CPU out ANC. And we select window start, window end, hostname, CPU, and average of the usage. CPU and hostname are fields coming from our Kafka topic. What about window start and window end? They are coming from this table definition that we are where we are doing a hopping, a sliding window on top of the CPU in, which is a table containing the data from our Kafka. We are using the time LTZ, the field, the timestamp field that we created during the source table definition, and we generate a window every five seconds. So this is the sliding window, the slide parameter. And the window size is 10 seconds. So we generate every five seconds window of width 
10 seconds. Let's try to run this to check if the data makes sense. And this will start a little flink job in order to start parsing the data and giving us the output. It should take a few seconds in order to produce the first set of rows. There we are. So Dopey CPU2 between 83940 and 83950, 80% of usage. If we scroll down, it's all 8040, 8040. Okay, so we click save and deploy later. We create a deployment to basically take our application definition into work and we deploy without save point. This will take this our application and create a proper Flink SQL that runs in our Flink cluster. It's initializing and soon we will should see the application. Here we are in running state. So we can now go back to Kafka demo and we should see in the topics that we have a CPU arg starts sliding, a new topic containing the sliding information. Let's check the data. So if we go back to our terminal, on the left side, we have our uh, tool to produce the data. On the right side, we use KCAT to connect to the CPU arg starts sliding, the same topic that we saw in the console before. If we start consuming from this topic, what we see is that we create windows every five seconds. Let's check here. The window starts at 9.45.15 and ends at 9.45.25. So every five seconds, we create a window and the window lasts 10 seconds. The host name Dupi CPU CPU4 had a usage average of 90%. If we scroll a little bit down, so the, all these kind of sessions were starting at uh, 46.15. If we go to the first line here, this is where the new set of windows will be created. As we see, we create a window every five seconds. So before it was at 15, now it's at 20 seconds. But also this window lasts between 9.45.20 to 9.45.30. So always lasting 10 seconds as expected. To summarize, we define a way using Flink SQL to obtain sliding windows. With sliding, also called hopping windows, you have fixed width windows in time, the start at a certain point, and then you can define the slide parameter. So after how much time you want to start the following window. In our case, we started windows that had fixed week width of 10 seconds and we were starting the next set of windows after five seconds if you want to understand more about the flink windowing system and all the capabilities of it check the url below because it contains a link to another video going in details on how all the type of apache flink windows i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, well, click on like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope to see you soon for other interesting videos about Flink and the other Ivan technologies. Bye from Francesco.